Hi guys, David Michael here. We just had a blooper, that's why we're still laughing. Um, I wanted to show you guys this mushroom and it's smaller than I normally pick it. It's Fistulina hepatica. It's called the beefsteak polypore. They're a plump and firm mushroom that can get, I've seen them 18 inches, they can probably get bigger than that. And as this gets bigger, it will begin to resemble a shelf mushroom or a piece of liver or a piece of steak, a big red piece of meat. When you cut it open and they're young like this one, you'll see that it's white with pink streaks. As it gets older, it'll get deep, deep red and orange streaks in it. This is one of my absolute favorite mushrooms to find because it's it's a rare mushroom for me to find and it's one that I put in the refrigerator in pieces and I soak it in a marination sauce. I slice it and eat it. The underneath side looks like pores, but for the sake of the purists out there, they're not technically pores. But as far as the general mushroom hunter goes, this is a shelf mushroom. It's porous. It's white to pink underneath as it gets bigger. This stays a dark steak red as it gets bigger. So it's pretty easy to identify. You'll know when you cut it that it just, it grows off a tree. Here's where I cut it right here. And the reason that I harvested this one so young is there is a competing mushroom forager in this particular woods that I'm hunting who I've bumped into a couple of times and does not know that these are present. So I kind of want to get it out of the way so that he continues to not know that they're present. Anyway, the beef steak polypore mushroom, Fistulina hepatica. This is definitely a mushroom that if you spot, you're gonna want to try. It's absolutely delicious. The odor is always pleasant and always mild, and as they get bigger, the, the odor uh, tends to fade. But it stays this beautiful red, and it's photo worthy no matter what. So red on top, pink to white underneath, poor surface, absolutely no gills, grows. Usually I find it on oak trees. This is a dead and dying, black oak I'm in an area that has black in it but the leaves that I think the GoPro just picked up is from the white oak which is behind dawn because this tree is dead and dying so do not mistake the round lobe oak leaves that the GoPro just picked up for for black oak because it's not Fistulina hepatica I hope you guys find one of these I really do because it's it's one of those mushrooms that every mushroom hunter can be proud of. Happy foraging guys.